morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. My name is Kyle. If this is your first time joining me, and this is the Ride Along series where I take you with me on my commute to work and we get to fellowship with the Lord, hear what he has to say, and step into this place of relationship with him in the morning. It's the best thing for me, and I want to encourage you guys to make time in your morning to fellowship with him, even if it means just joining me um, in this time with him. So if it's not your first time and you've been watching me for a little while, thank you so much. Really appreciate your love and support. Um, this channel is strictly ministry. It is something that I want the Lord to receive all the glory for. It's something that I want people to see Jesus on when they come and they view it. With that being said, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for our lives, for who you are and who we are in you, for our identities, for the power and authority we have in your presence through the Holy Spirit, through the relationship we get to have with you, Jesus. I mean, there's nothing better, truly. And our identities are so powerful, so strong, so beautiful. And it's so important that we uh, understand what our identities truly are as sons and daughters of the Most High. So Jesus, I just pray right now that you would help us to know our identities, understand our identities, step in and walk in our identities so we can truly live the life that you created us to live. Father, we thank you. We love you. I welcome you in to use this platform to speak through me and to um, do what it is you want to do. That's it. Your will be done. So we love you. Holy Spirit, fill us, talk to us, renew us, convict us, teach us. And we just love you so, so, so much. Pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So my pastor gave us a question and... We have Wednesday nights at their house, and it's a really cool, intimate uh, setting where we just kind of dive deep with the Lord and let him lead us in whatever it is where he wants us to do. It's so free. It's so beautiful. It's so fun. It's basically a community coming together and just moving in the spirit. He gave us a question yesterday, and it was, what is the Lord stirring up in your heart? Or what is the Lord awakening in your spirit? And I think that's an awesome question. I think it's a really cool question that makes us take a second and submit to the Lord and then ask that question to him. Like, Lord, what are you stirring up in my heart? Lord, what is it that you are awakening my spirit to? Father, what are you trying to tell me right now? What are you trying to lead me into right now? What is it that you are putting on my life, the calling, the purpose? Father, what is it you want me to do? Like, who is it you want me to be? And it makes us ask these questions. It makes us uh, step into this place of intimacy with the Lord and grow our relationship with him through communication. And it's so powerful. It's so beautiful. So I wanted to pass that question on to you guys. What is the Lord awakening up in your spirit? What is the Lord tugging on your heart? What is the Lord stirring in your heart? What is, what is it that you feel like the Lord has been leading you into? Or what is it that you feel like the Lord is leading you into or is going to lead you into? And what is he saying about that? You know, and when, when you start to pray on this and think on it and meditate on it and take time to rest in his presence and, and allow him to speak to you in this, he starts to give you a lot of clarity. And it's so cool. And I believe there is a shifting happening right now in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. And I believe people are starting to wake up. People are starting to come to life. People are starting to feel this stirring and feel this awakening in their spirit. People are starting to sense the shift even outside of Christ, you know, like the spiritual realm is everywhere. You don't have to just be in Christ to be in the spiritual realm. Like it's everywhere. And the enemy is a part of that too. And there's this shifting happening in the world and all this crazy stuff. We don't have to get into like the details of that, but I do want to get more into the details of you and the Lord, the relationship you guys have. And what is he saying to you? What is he speaking to you? Because you 
have an important role here. The Lord created you for a reason and a purpose. The Lord has gifted you with certain gifts and abilities um, that you thrive in or you excel in that others might not as much. The Lord has a heart for you to walk in that. He has a desire for you to walk in that. And I do too, because this is what it's all about. The body walking in the spirit, not just being in the spirit, not just being in relationship with Jesus, but actually walking with Jesus, walking in the spirit. And it's so amazing what the Lord does with us when we do this. And I feel as if so many Christians are not walking in the spirit. We're living in the spirit. We're in relationship with Jesus. We're saved by grace and faith alone. And we're, we're in this place of relationship where we know him and we know who we are in him and we know that he's with us and we have peace and comfort and joy and all of that and that's great and that's beautiful awesome however there's the power and authority aspect that i believe we are missing and i want to help us walk in that i want to encourage you there's more there's more there's more the lord has more for you there's more power and authority to step into. There's more things to see and witness and experience. There's, there's more of a calling and a purpose on your life than just being in relationship with Jesus, right? Look at Jesus. He was in relationship with the Father. We are all in relationship with the Father too, right? Through Jesus, praise God. And he was in relationship with the Father. However, he didn't just sit in relationship with the Father. He walked with the Father. And the Father spoke to him and led him and guided him. And he did amazing things, beautiful things. He loved unconditionally. He um, you know, spoke life and truth into people. He helped people come to repentance to see the Father's heart and he did all these amazing things and you know i'm not even touching on the miracles of healing people and bringing pa people back to life and uh all that amazing stuff too and providing the food right it was all the fish and the, the bread and everything like that like i'm not even talking about all of that but that's all part of it too there's so much to this there's so many different levels there's so many different giftings and there's so many different callings that I don't want to just touch on the obvious ones that I think we all kind of talk about more and miss out on the, uh, I guess, less obvious ones, which are simply loving unconditionally. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And walking this world in that way where people are like, you're different. Why are you loving me that way? I don't deserve this. Like they're being convicted by the love, compelled by love. And it's uh, the kindness. It's kindness that brings people to repentance. So how are we even helping people come to repentance if we're not walking with the Lord in true kindness? Because we in ourselves, in our flesh, cannot even really be kind. You know, not truly, not in a way that leads to repentance. However, when we're in the spirit, when we're walking with the Lord, it's this kindness of the Lord that touches people's hearts. It's this love of the Lord that touches people's hearts. And I believe that the Lord really, 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 really is calling us to intentionality in relationship with him. Intentionality in relationship with him. Being more intentional with the relationships we have. Being more intentional with uh, who, how our relationship with Jesus is, our relationship with our Father is, being more intentional with the power and authority we have, filled by Holy Spirit, being more intentional with loving people as Jesus did, being more intentional with being kind to people in a way that blows people away and knocks their socks off, right? Just being more intentional with community, with fellowship, with prayer, with worship, with all of it. It's being more intentional where we have friends over and we're not just sitting around hanging out, having fun. Great. But we're being more intentional. And we're asking people, what do you need prayer for? 
you know, or if we get a word for them, be more intentional with God. God, give me a word for these people coming over tonight. Oh, God, I'm going to this event. Give me a word for somebody there or for everybody there. You know, what do you want to say to them? What, what, what do you, how do you want to love them tonight? Be more intentional. Go into work. Lord, who is it you want me to speak to? Who is it you want to speak to through me? Lord, who is it you want me to love more? Who is it you want me to spend an extra couple minutes with to show them I actually care and I'm actually here for them? Lord, how can I be kinder to these people? Show me. Lead me. And we, we're more intentional with our relationships with Jesus and with those around us, right? We're more intentional with our time spent with people or without people, but with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Does this make sense? Because for me, this is the stirring that's going on in my heart. I feel like there is an awakening in my spirit of identity, of what that really means and what that really looks like. And I could go deeper into an identity and do like a whole video just on identity if you guys want. But identity and then also community. I think identity kind of comes with um, authenticity. And then community kind of comes with connectivity. And then love kind of comes with genuineness. And then uh, leadership is the last one that's really stirring up in my heart. And I think leadership uh, comes with intentionality. So I think all these things is kind of what I'm sharing with you from my heart, what's stirring up in my heart and what I believe the Lord is awakening my spirit too and leading me into it. And I don't know exactly what it looks like. I don't know all the details. I don't know how he's going to lead me in this, but I do know that this is what he's speaking to me. And this is something that uh, needs to be shared. This is something that we all need to pray on and meditate on. This is something that we all need to seek the Lord in. And I just want to encourage you guys to pray on this, meditate on this, see what the Lord's saying to you. Ask these questions and allow him to speak to you. It might not be the same thing that I just shared, but that's that's great because the Lord speaks to us all the way that we need to be spoken to. The Lord speaks to us all um, in the way that's best for us. The Lord speaks to us all in a way that's most intentional for each and every person individually, but also collectively as the body. So what you're receiving is for you, but it's not just for you to keep for yourself. It's for you to share with the body, with all of us, so we can all pray and meditate on that and seek the Lord in it and see what he has to say to us about what he's saying to you, right? And then that's how the body comes together and people start to learn and grow and adapt and um, move as one together in the spirit to do miraculous things and miraculous works for the Lord in Christ Jesus. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you all. I encourage you to pray and meditate on this, like I said. And Lord, I just pray that you speak to us all and show us what it is. Whoa. And Lord, I just pray that you speak to us all, show us what it is you want us to do. Uh, speak to us in the way that we need to be spoken to. Help us to hear you, to receive from you, and to walk with you. We love you, Papa. I love you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you more. And until next time. Thank you.